from diabetes and multiple sclerosis to lupus and Lyme disease, celebrities aren't immune from invisible illnesses. Here are a few famous figures who've been open about medical issues you wouldn't know they had just by looking. Selma Blair, star of Legally Blonde and Cruel Intentions, bravely disclosed that she was living with multiple sclerosis back in 2018 in a detailed Instagram caption that started by describing how the costume director for Another Life helped her get dressed for her scenes. She wrote, in part, I am disabled. I fall sometimes. I drop things. My memory is foggy. And my left side is asking for directions from a broken GPS. But we are doing it. And I laugh and I don't know exactly what I will do precisely, but I will do my best." Having learned to live with her difficult diagnosis, Blair has been extremely open about her life with MS ever since, especially how she sees the silver linings. In 2021, she told Town & Country, "...I'm very comfortable in my body, mostly because I am now making a deeper positive connection with it. I am fascinated by this body and this life. I am humbled and pleased to be any inspiration for people." I'm a really positive person that's been a hard couple days. The actor has also become a champion for other people living with MS, through being open about her own experience with the illness, but also by participating in philanthropic campaigns. One such campaign was Natural Beauties, coordinated by makeup artist Gucci Westman, which featured women described of all ages, all complexions, all attitudes, each of whom picked a charity to support through the initiative. In 2021, Nick Jonas partnered with the Global Movement for Time and Range, a platform attempting to raise awareness for a powerful new kind of technology that would help diabetes patients lead a full life. Amid the partnership, Jonas spoke to Healthline about how he's felt living with the condition since he was 13 years old, in the early days of the Jonas Brothers phenomenon. For Jonas, letting type 1 diabetes rule his life was never on the table. He told Healthline, "...I've always been very determined and passionate about the work that I do. This was a scary kind of reality that I had to face, but not something where I was going to, for a single second, let it slow me down." His determination has gotten him far. The Jonas Brothers recently reunited as a musical act and created a Netflix special. Jonas and his wife, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, recently welcomed their first child together. Jonas has stated he's felt honored to be able to share his experience of living with type 1 diabetes with the world, saying, "...what's interesting about diabetes is that it affects so many people, not just the individual themselves, but their friends, family. Should someone see something on my channel, whether they are diabetic or not, and being able to share that with someone they know who lives with the disease is a really interesting and exciting thing to get to do." When Gabrielle Union was ready to have a baby with her husband, Dwayne Wade, she had more trouble getting pregnant than she had originally anticipated. After a series of unfortunate miscarriages, she was finally given some clarity as to what was going on with her body. During the Blog Her conference in 2018, Union revealed, "...so, towards the end of my fertility journey, I finally got some answers. Because everyone had just sort of chalked it up to, you're a career woman, you've prioritized your career, you've waited too long, and now you're just too old to have a kid, and that's on you for wanting a career." The reality is, I actually have adenomyosis, which is endometriosis of the muscle." Union went on to explain, understandably frustrated, that she had symptoms of the condition since her early 20s, with heavy periods lasting up to 10 days. Unfortunately, nobody was able to explain to her what was happening. Doctors put her on birth control to treat the symptoms of the disease rather than the cause. In the end, Union and Wade welcomed their baby girl, Kavia, in 2018 via surrogate, as the actor announced on Twitter. Posting on Instagram on Christmas Day 2021, Union called her daughter her best gift. In 2015, Selena Gomez revealed that she had been diagnosed with lupus. In an interview with Billboard, she got candid about the real reason she checked into rehab in 2013 and what it was like enduring the public's assumptions about her stay. Selena told the publication about rumors that she was an addict, saying, "...I wanted so badly to say, you guys have no idea. I'm in chemotherapy. You're But I was angry I even felt the need to say that. It's awful walking into a restaurant and having the whole room look at you, knowing what they're saying. 
I locked myself away until I was confident and comfortable again. Since then, the actor and singer has been incredibly vulnerable about her diagnosis, in particular when she shared that she had received a kidney transplant from her friend, actor Francia Raisa in 2017. Gomez wrote on Instagram, explaining why she had been absent from the media, saying, So I found out I needed to get a kidney transplant due to my lupus and was recovering. It was what I needed to do for my overall health. I honestly look forward to sharing with you my journey through these past several months, as I have always wanted to do with you. Gomez has endured many difficult things in her life, but what got her through her difficult situation was thinking about how sharing those experiences could help others. And I just I hope that this inspires people to feel good, to know that there is really good people in the world. Bella Hadid hasn't spoken much about her experience of living with Lyme disease, but on the rare occasions she has, she has shared heartbreaking details. Posting on her Instagram story to educate people about the wide range of symptoms experienced by those with Lyme, Hadid wrote, Every day, I feel at least 10 of these attributes without fail, since I was probably 14, but more aggressively when I turned 18. In 2016, Hadid, who shares her diagnosis with her mother Yolanda and brother Anwar, attended the Global Lyme Alliance Gala while she was still dating The Weeknd. The model revealed how her boyfriend dealt with her condition, saying, He's great with it. He's definitely been learning a lot about it. When I say I'm sick, he understands and kind of leaves it alone. In 2021, Hadid shared a photo of herself on Instagram hooked up to an IV, with the caption reading, Living with a few chronic autoimmune disorders equals always finding time for my IVs. Lyme disease is a fairly common condition, and a number of celebrities have been affected by it as well, including Ben Stiller and Avril Lavigne. The latter wrote about it in a letter published to her official website in 2018, sharing, I spent the last few years at home sick fighting Lyme disease. I felt like I was drowning. Over the years, rapper Lil Wayne has been candidly open about his experience of living with epilepsy, a diagnosis he once told Katie Couric that he received as a child. As fans of Wayne know, the hip-hop mogul has dealt with seizures his whole life but wouldn't have known about them if his loved ones and medical team didn't explain what was happening. In 2013, he told MTV News Rap Fix Live, I told them the other day, y'all can tell me right now that y'all was lying. Like, you know what? We lying ain't nothing. And I'd have to believe them because I don't know. I go to sleep and wake up in the hospital. In 2017, TMZ reported that Lil Wayne had once again suffered a bout of seizures while he was staying in Chicago. He was hospitalized and had to cancel an upcoming concert in Las Vegas. TMZ had previously reported two separate occasions when the rapper had unfortunately had to deal with more seizures. While some have blamed Wheezy's use of codeine as the cause, the rapper has stated he sometimes forgets to take his medication, which leads to the seizures. Venus Williams is a world-class tennis champion, but her success on the court has not been without its struggles. Williams shared that she is living with Sjogren's syndrome, a type of autoimmune disease. As part of a PSA for the American College of Rheumatology, Williams said, As a world champion, I know what it's like to be on top, but I also know what it's like to be one of 54 million Americans battling a rheumatic disease. After six years of swollen joints, fatigue, and eye-mouth dryness, I was finally diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome. Today, I follow my rheumatologist's treatment plan, and I am back on top of my game. Before her diagnosis, Williams sacrificed a lot, including the one thing that was most important to her. In 2019, she told Prevention.com, Unfortunately, that's typical of people with autoimmune disease. They're misdiagnosed or too sick to function. I literally had professional tennis taken away from me before I got the right diagnosis. Thankfully, with the right treatment and certain lifestyle changes, Williams has been able to effectively manage her condition. In addition to taking medication, she switched to a plant-based diet. In 2017, she told Health, Once I started, I fell in love with the concept of fueling your body in the best way possible. Not only does it help me on the court, but I feel like I'm doing the right thing for me. Lady Gaga has lived with fibromyalgia, a condition that causes nerve pain for years. The Star is Born actor has explained she thinks the physical condition stemmed from the emotional toll of being sexually assaulted, another difficult experience she has been extremely vulnerable and open about. 
In other words, she believes her physical health is tied to her mental health, an idea that's far from novel. For Gaga, one of the most frustrating aspects of her condition is that people dismiss it, implying that she's somehow making it up. In 2018, she told Vogue, I get so irritated with people who don't believe fibromyalgia is real. For me, and I think for many others, it's really a cyclone of anxiety, depression, PTSD, trauma, and panic disorder, all of which sends the nervous system into overdrive. And then you have nerve pain as a result. People need to be more compassionate. Chronic pain is no joke, and it's every day waking up not knowing how you're going to feel. Many people don't know what it is, and we need to all get together and figure this out. In 2017, the star disclosed her diagnosis to the world, in the spirit of the honesty she always strives for with her little monsters, and to announce that she had to cancel her European tour. She wrote on Instagram, As I get stronger, and when I feel ready, I will tell my story in more depth, and plan to take this on strongly so I can not only raise awareness, but expand research for others who suffer as I do. Alicia Beth Moore, more commonly known as the singer Pink, lives with serious asthma. In 2006, a series of severe asthma attacks sent the performer to the hospital. That wasn't the only time her asthma gave her a bad health scare. In 2020, during the early days of the pandemic, Pink and her family contracted COVID-19. It began with her son Jameson, who was only three years old at the time. Pink told Ellen DeGeneres, via video conference, it's been probably 30 years since I needed a nebulizer breathing treatment in the hospital or anything like that. When Jameson's fever was staying and going up, I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't breathe. And I needed a nebulizer for the first time in 30 years. While Pink's asthma has caused her many difficulties over the years, it thankfully hasn't negatively affected her singing career. In fact, it's possible that singing has helped alleviate some of her symptoms. Pink herself has talked about how being upside down on stage actually helps her breathe better, saying, Did you know singing can actually help asthma symptoms? As she wisely added, Who knew? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.